Uh, so this is your boy Terry, and uh, my username is surpassing Google across the internet. In this video, I'm going to be starting a channel. It's a new channel. It's called the JTMate Literacy, and uh, literacy is an entire school uh, that makes use of down-to-earth paradigms. Oh gosh, something wrong with my camera. Anyway, makes use of down-to-earth paradigms and. I've written the curriculum for this school, but I'm still evolving, evolving it. So that's the reason for my presence of on YouTube and social media outlets. And you have to pay attention to, gosh, what's wrong? I don't know. I'm a bit discouraged, like my PC is having some issues, I believe. Yeah, but I'll still go ahead. Uh, I'll just keep it short. Um, I'm going to be reacting to Wadi Maya, a recent video about Wadi Maya. Uh, Wadi Maya is someone I've paid attention to his entire evolution on YouTube. You know, I've paid attention to his very elements and uh, I've watched hundreds of his videos. I'm here to react to him as a legitimate retreat. So um, any kudos or suggestions that I give him it's going to be in the perception of a legitimate retreat, you know, just as I would if I signed in person, it's like a brother, you know, I'm not going to romanticize and, you know, say what is not. I'm going to tell him things I can tell him if I was with him in person as a true fan and someone who loves what he represents. He's carrying a big, you know, vision on his shoulders and it's really grand and I think as he grows, it's becoming essential that he knows the gravity of this embarkation or embarkation you know, that he's taking, uh, it's very grand. You know, when you're talking of Africa, it's a big topic. You know, if you're trying to dispel the myths about Africa, then you have to know Africa yourself. And anyway, I'm going to start this channel reacting to videos from Woody Maya and so many other YouTubers. Uh, so look out for hundreds of videos, you know. I may not be perfect in my craft, but I'll forge ahead all the same. Uh, so please bear with mishaps that you find in the video. Uh, I'm not using quality applications, uh, even the PC is terrible. Um, so I'm going to be reacting to this video using a phone, and we'll go from there. Um, I don't know if I'll stop the video in between, or I may have to wait for the video to end you know, give my input. So, let's go, and um, it's a recent video by Wadi Maya where he talks about Sierra Leone, or Africa in general. His mission is to take Africa to the world, and he's currently in Sierra Leone. And I'll be watching that video on my phone and reacting, basically. Uh, so, it's a short video, so it's possible that I wait till the end of the video before uh, reacting, but it's also possible that within the video I'm also going to react as well, uh, pause the video and react. Um, so this is more of a test video, but it will be uploaded. Uh, kindly subscribe to the G2 Literacy the YouTube channel. The title of the video is Freetown, the City on Heels. Uh, it's featuring what am I featuring what am I, of course. I'm going to start the video now. And uh, I'll be listening to it in my headset, and we'll go from there. Mm, there are some odds. <laughs> anyway, so, yes, there are some odds, so I had to use the ads. Anyway, he's starting the video on top of a hill. Uh, of course, the title is Freetown, the city on hills. So he's got the, the view, you know, on top of the hill and the view of the XP. Of the city. Uh, so it's just a three minute for you. Welcome to Freetown, a city! Oh,
the more I learn to appreciate Africa. Sierra Leone is a blessed country. Wow! See beauty. Like, I, I don't even want to use the word beautiful to describe this city. But if Sierra Leone, or let me say if Freetown is a woman, like I will marry her for the rest of my life, man. See how beautiful these hills are. Like the entire city is on a hill. So when you are in Sierra Leone, every walking step that you take, it feels like you're exercising your body. I don't even know why people have big stomach in this country. Like if I live in this country, <laughs> like this will be off, man. <laughs> you can never be fat in this country because the entire country is on a hill. And this hill has a superb view. Like look at where I am, man. This is called Leicester Peak. You know, I don't even know why this country has English names, but I know that it has a connection with the slavery that happened long years ago. Africa is blessed. Let me add this far to it. Do you know that Freetown is a peninsula? If you are living in this city, you are so blessed. You have the view of the hill, at the same time the view of the sea. What else do you want? Why are people calling Africa a poor place to be? Like if I have this, I have joy. Money is not everything. Let's talk about money in this country. They have diamond. Oh my goodness. Sierra Leone is a blessed country. boy mr ghana baby don't forget to help me share this video don't worry the video Send will finish soon i mean tell him that it's a short video what now it's said, i should tell you that just a musical salon it's a charming country salon it's just too beautiful man like i'm already in love with this country man. like what else do you want <laughs> different countries one africa I'll buy a house in this country. But hey, don't forget to check out this t-shirt ad in the description box. Get one to support the movement. Aya Maya. See you in the next one. So So of course, some music calls in the end of the video, um, you know, landscape of Africa, Sierra Leone in this case, and of course that's awesome, you know. Um, uh, well, uh, and a, a rich video in terms of content, you know, there's a drone shot and everything. Not like it means anything in reality. You know, the world is getting to those stages where the super. Uh, I don't know, the, the things that are of luxury now will be relegated, you know, in the future. This is upcoming. Uh, I think the world of today, the utmost when it comes to creation, utmost pertinence when it comes to creation is our creation, you know, humans. Africa, uh, kudos to Mori Maya, he, you know, he has evolved from where he used to be in China at the outset. Um, to uh, promoting Africa to the world, you know, he aims to dismiss spells, I mean not spells, dispel myths about Africa, you know, by world standards, but, you know, this is a huger task than perhaps is known even to William Maya himself, you know, uh, you know, to dispel myths about Africa, you really need to know Africa. And I'm going to keep my reaction short in this video. This is my first. I'll have other videos pertaining to Africa of Vodi Maya that I'll react to and then uh, you know, I'll build on this topic over time. 
but kudos to you for you know evolving um engaging your expense in traveling across africa you know and showcasing the beauty of its creation and uh, well you know it also takes uh, a measure of guts you know to be able to lay bare yourself you know in the midst of hundreds of thousands of subscribers uh, and many there's many reasons to me to give kudos to Modemaya, but if I was a person with Modemaya, I'd want him to evolve his journey because uh, especially now that he's having a platform filled with a large audience, uh, he will need to take ownership and responsibilities uh, in really explaining Africa to the world. And, you know, there's much expectation from Modemaya because he's African. You should know Africa. You know, there's something that he's doing lately, which I've seen, and he should be given kudos for. Uh, he's spreading his wings, you know, um, helping others start YouTube channels, those who are block sitting, uh, you know, those are who are repurchasing back to Africa, and uh, some who are knowledgeable in the field Africa. You know, he's spreading his tentacles, but uh, what am I... Uh, uh, you know, if I was with you, I would help you in your journey involved with this. You know, you know um, YouTubing, yes, it's a journey, it's a career, but uh, a measure of education is essential as well. Uh, YouTube constitutes a hobby, even when it's a career, career, you know, it's something you can do in alignment with schools of study. Your very evolution is not paused because of accolades or adulations, you know, or proposition of a YouTube career. Uh, and now we're not talking of secular education, at least in legit literacy. Legit literacy is what you see on the streets of Africa, in the very down to earth, you know, not in the gimmick of giant buildings. Those things are old school. And, you know, to dispel the myths in Africa, you are to portray the real beauty of Africa. But what's the real beauty of African reality? It's not in skyscrapers. It's not in things of the outer space. The beauty of the human. You know, great lies in Africa. Yes, it's not in diamonds. But there are nations with diamonds. There's something in Africa that has been sought after by the world as a whole. They can't place it yet. But this is your role. That you reveal these things. So that the information becomes whole for the world in its entirety. So much information is missing and about Africa. You know, the information left to be revealed in Africa, of the world, is in Africa. The greatness that is being sought after. after. You know, people of the West seek these things. They go to Africa, the dungeons, to understudy these things. It's their fancy in reality. It has to be your fancy as well. The streets and nooks and crannies of Africa, that's where greatness lies, very down to earth. You know, you're supposed to hone these things and, you know, romanticize these things as much as you romanticize landscape and, you know, beautiful hotels and luxury. Whoever doubts that there is tall buildings in Africa, you know, that's an adult, adult child, you know. Uh, we're past all that. In a way, you may be playing into the same narrative that you're trying to dispel. You know, when you're saying, oh, Africa, they, they have elevators, you know, the hotel room, uh, digital doors. You're, you may be playing into the narrative, especially when you romanticize it. You know, you may be playing into the narrative. Because if this is our normal things in Africa, then they will not be so, you know, propagated as something that's odd. And the way you romanticize it, it looks odd, like Africa doesn't have these things in reality. And you have to, these things are not things to brag about. I'm not saying you're bragging, but, you know, there's a way to present this uh, Africa to the world mission as it is, you know, with the realities. And, you know, it's called beautiful disruption. Um, you know, looking at it critically, there are no real myths. There are no real myths. Those are just illusionary myths. When you check 
when you look at I'm I'm oh gosh, I have to pause this video here. I'll continue next time. Something came up. I apologize for this.